I had a blast doing the videos with BJ. Um, I thought it was super cool that we used an actual producer that worked on movies. For me, it wasn't just about a music video. It kind of told a story over three videos. And when we first did it, I thought we were just doing Repentless. I didn't know where we had a, a plan for three videos. Gerardo hey, Martinez is with Nuclear Blast. He approached us. He was the one that came up with the idea of, of doing a video. Never really mentioned a trilogy, but just a video. And then, you know, and then, and then he goes, hey, why don't we do another video? And then he just, you know, so we do another video. And then he brought up the third video, to, to, let's try it, do a third, third, third video. And that's when he said that he had been thinking about doing a trilogy the entire time. You know what I mean? He goes, oh yeah, you know, we're going to do this trilogy. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, and it's kind of, and then he, then he started explaining what he was, you know, what he intends to do with it. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Well, how cool is that? Nobody's ever done something like that that I know of. Um, and I, I think it's really unique. And after I saw the Repentless video, I was, like I said, hands off. You know, I, I know the direction, I know it's going to be happening, but, you know, that's, that's not really my thing. I barely even mess with producers when we're doing records, because that's their job. You know, my job is to play the guitar, and this one, my job is to play a guitar and headbang. So, um, I think the idea came from BJ and, and the Nuclear Blast people, actually. Um, but hey, I'm just pleased to be a part of it. You know, and then him, he, he picked uh, BJ, right? He picked him and they just sat there and they just, and he said, yeah, I'll do it, so. To me, it's, it's the coolest thing. I mean, we did the Seasons video and I think that's a super cool video that we did in Egypt, but this trilogy is, it's unique and I think it's unique to Slayer, which makes it even cooler. My favorite one, of course, I'm the sick fuck, is the third one, Pride and Prejudice. That's the one where the pregnant woman gets stabbed. And who does that? Fucking Slayer does that. But it, it brings a story to a close as well. That's why I like it. Um, and you understand where everything's leading to. It took all these fucking years to play there. That's the significance. It was a big deal to me, because when I was a kid, 16, 17, I would go see, uh, you know, tell my dad I'm going to a friend's house or something and wind up at Van Halen shows on multiple nights. And um, that was the place growing up where you'd see shows. So for me to be able to play there, it was super huge to me. I grew up, I grew up in LA. I come from this country, Chile, to America in 65. Went straight to Southern California, the city of Southgate, right? Southgate, that's where the band started, right? Never played the form. And all the years that we've been playing in LA, never played the form. We got banned for playing in LA County. And they finally lifted that band after so many years. That's why we always played outside of LA. So, you know, being able to play the LA form. Is... I watched the Lakers, Jerry West, Will Chamberlain, you know, the, the good players, the fucking awesome team. That's what I watched growing up, and they were at the fabulous form. And then we went a second time. It's still just as big. Um, and now to, to finish the tour, you know, we were talking about final dates. I'm like, we got to play the forum. You know, if the forum will have us, that's where I want to end. So, so be it. The fabulous forum. You know what I mean? That that's what it to me. That's what it means. It's a, it's a fucking great place.